two, three, funk it. Hey guys, so today I'll be showing you how to make a tank top on Pixlr for Roblox. This is iMac Friendly 2. Let me know if you'd like to see a mobile tutorial. Before we get into the video, I just want to tell you to go join my clothing group. It's called Froze Clothing on Roblox and will be linked in the description. Anyways, let's get into it. So if you are unsure of the basics of Pixlr, go see my other video on how to make a simple shirt on Roblox. It will be linked in the description as well. But basically you're going to open image and select your template. The template download link will be in the description as well. Anyways, now that you have your template, you are going to want to add your cami top outline. I will link a black cami top base that I made as well as a white one in the description. You're going to open the image as a new layer and resize it so it fits the template. Make sure it covers the word front. You can customize the color by just using the bucket on lines. Anyways, after you did that, you, you want to make a cami top a square, kinda? I don't know, I, I, I suck at explaining things. But you're going to want to make it a square by covering the left and right sides of the cami with lines. If you don't get it, I'll do it right now. done that, you're going to want to fill in the cami top with the color of your choice by selecting the bucket tool and clicking inside the cami top. Now, you're going to want to select the marquee tool on the left and select the lines you've just made and hit backspace or delete on your keyboard. If you want an image, then you can just click the layer drop down, click open image as new layer and select your image and resize to your liking. shot top should be finally done. Now you're going to want to export it. If you don't know how to, then you can watch my other video which will be in the description. Now you can upload it to Roblox by going to the develop tab on the top and then going into either my creations or group creations, set selecting shirts, then selecting the file and naming the shirt and uploading it. Then you can put it on sale, which if you don't know how to, I'll put a, a helpful video in the description. Final product, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you found this helpful or informative, please subscribe and turn on notifications. It only takes a second and you can always change your mind. Bye for now!